All right, we've created our blank shape file. So I got my DOQ outline over here on the left. And now I actually want to do some editing. Now, editing in ArcMap is the one of the most joyous things you can do. There's nothing more special than like digitizing and editing lines hour after hour. So cherish these moments that you have ahead of you um, doing an arc. You'll you'll you you won't forget them. All right, <clears throat> so let's get started. Now, this is the arc math we've been used to seeing. We need to modify arc a little bit in order to do editing. So I'm going to go up to the gray, uh, an open area of my, uh, my toolbars, and right click and add a couple toolbars that we need in order to do some editing. So I'm going to turn on the editor, and I'm also going to right click and turn on snapping, and then dock that here. So I've got <clears throat> two new toolbars that I'm going to use to do a, a lot of my editing. Now, since we're working with shape files, we're using some of the simpler tools, editing tools within Arc. Once you switch to geo databases, things get quite a bit more complicated. But we're just going to start with uh, the simple stuff first. So I'm going to turn on an editing session. What that means is that I can't, um, for the most part, edit things outside of an edit session, and it allows me to have an undo. So if I do something and I screw it up, I'll have an undo op option um, when the editor's on. So I'm going to go to the editor toolbar and click on the start editing. Now a couple things happen when I do that. First, it's it's going to check to see if all my data sets here are in the same folder. They happen to be, so I didn't get an error. But if there were multiple folders, you would have seen a choice of <clears throat> which workspace or which folder you're operating in. Arc allows you only to edit uh, files that are in the same folder or same, uh, if we're in a geodatabase, a featured data set. I also get some new uh, panes over here to the right. These are my options for what types of features that I can create. Um, and these are called feature templates, and they help um, you create things more quickly. Um, and that's particularly useful for geodatabases. So it says, all right, I'm able to edit uh, DOQ outline, which right now is a blank file. There's nothing in it. And I get like, different construction tools, different things that I can create. And I want to start off with a polygon. So I'm going to click that. And then I'll go over my, uh, the, my data frame here. And what I want is I want a, I want a box that kind of goes around my um, air photo here that I'm going to use to clip these roads because I'm just going to edit the roads within that area. Now, notice as I get near the edge here, I see this pop up here. It says roads, endpoint, extent, uh, and different. Oh, things that what it's trying to do is it's trying to snap. This is going to be a problem for me because I don't want my boundary of my box to snap to these roads. And if I go up to snapping, I see that all these are turned on. I can click it and turn off these different types of snapping. We'll talk more about the snapping environment later, but for right now, I'm going to turn all that off so I don't have that snapping going on. And I'm going to kind of really roughly digitize this polygon. So I'm going to click on this corner. the next corner and then on the final corner I'm going to double click and now um, I have uh, what's called a sketch here and I can see the, that it's highlighted it's selected uh, now let's say I wanted to modify one of those corners just a little bit I'm going to switch from this construction tool uh, to an edit tool and I'm going to double click on this uh, which will allow me to s modify uh, these vertices a little bit if I need to do some minor changes. All right, so I got my boundary here uh, for my air photo. I'm happy with that. And so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to say um, save edits. And that now is a new feature within my DOQ outline. So I've digitized my first polygon here. <clears throat> so make sure you save and save often. If you crash in the middle of an edit session and you haven't saved, you'll lose those edits. So get used to going over here and saving edits as you work on things to make sure you don't um, lose stuff in an edit session. All right, first step in our joyous uh, journey down the, the road of editing. Good luck.